Well, a warm welcome to today's talk, Saturday the 4th of March. Now, we're going to carry on looking at the large-scale Cochrane review today on non-pharmaceutical interventions. And I'm just going to read you from the author's uh, conclusion so you can decide if you want to watch or not. Uh, hand hygiene is likely to modestly reduce the burden of respiratory illness. So it does seem to work. So this hand hygiene that was practiced during the pandemic does seem to have a modest effect, probably around about 11 to 14 percent reduction in respiratory infections, which is worth having. It's not going to stop a pandemic dead in its tracks, but it could slow it down uh, to an extent. Whereas we looked at mask use yesterday, day before, and we found out that as used during the pandemic, mask use usage was pretty useless really it didn't have any significant effect at all when the data was actually analyzed so let's remind ourselves what we're looking at here this is this is the uh, the Cochrane review here a very thorough review taking into account uh, all of the um, randomized controlled trials and other relevant studies that uh, it was able to uh, to get hold of up to the up to the end of October 2022 was the, the cutoff point for that now, um, physical measures to prevent respiratory virus spread between people, washing hands. So there was some clinical trials on that, and this does seem to have an effect. Um, wearing masks didn't seem to have an effect, as, as it was done in the pandemic. Um, very low certainty uh, evidence. Well, basically, they were, they were fairly confident that masks... Uh, didn't work even though the evidence was often of relatively low quality overall when they looked at everything and this is because of the lack of large-scale randomized controlled trials because these are mostly instigated by the pharmaceutical industry and of course finding out the information about non-pharmaceutical interventions by definition isn't going to benefit our friends in big pharma so we've got what we've got we can analyze what we've got to analyze um, so um, pretty good studies on, on masks, actually. There were 78 studies. No RCTs. Um, so, yeah, we can basically say masks weren't effective as, as they were used during the pandemic. Um, um, no, no randomised controlled trials on gowns or gloves, so don't know about those. Wiping surfaces. The six trials on those, because of the definition, because of the nature of the intervention, of course, they're not randomised, but there did seem to be an effect there, actually, of cleaning surfaces. Now, um, Chinese, for example, went into for, for cleaning outside surfaces. That seems um, fairly ludicrous, like spraying streets and things. But washing trolleys in supermarkets, washing handles in uh, underground trains, things like that did seem to have a benefit, quite a significant benefit, really. So that one w was worth, looks like that one was worth doing. Um, avoiding contact with other people, quarantine, well, that's hard to do. I mean, they, they did look at some randomised controlled trials, but... Obviously, if you're completely quarantined, if you're on a desert island, you can't get it. So a bit difficult to do that one. Uh, not touching your eyes, nose or mouth. No randomised controlled trials. Don't know is the answer to that one. Sneezing or coughing into your elbow. No randomised controlled trials. Um, keeping a certain distance away from other people. Well, again, it will work depending on the, uh, on the situation. So, but rather hard to do a trial on. Um, all, all you could do would be a trial based on the way it was done in a particular place and in a particular time. So that's not that useful. Total isolation, of course, would work, as we saw about the great delays in the onsets of the pandemic in uh, island nations like New Zealand and Australia, of course. Um, examining uh, people entering or leaving a country, no randomised controlled trials. Don't know if that works or not. So... You can make inferences on these things, of course, but in terms of knowing from trials, then that's kind of where we're at. Now, straight on to the first analysis that they did here in the Cochrane Review, hand hygiene, intervention versus controls. And the controls, there was no intervention. So basically it's hand washing versus not hand washing. Pooled data for the broad outcomes of acute respiratory infection. So this is everything. This is any respiratory infection, influenza, colds, covid this covers them all and when they did this combined analysis a 14 percent relative reduction in the number of people with acute respiratory infections in the hand hygiene group so evidence of efficacy there that that is that is there uh, relative risk 0.86 
So yes, it's, it's not a huge uh, it's not a huge benefit, but uh, but it is there. It's about a fourteen percent, as we said, reduction. And the ninety five percent confidence interval there was zero point eight one to uh, to zero point nine. So that's what a nineteen to a ten percent reduction. So it's significant, and this is based on large trial data, moderately certain, suggesting a probable benefit. So they're not going further than that. They're saying a probable benefit to hand hygiene. So interesting, but in absolute, so that's the relative risk reduction. Now, in absolute terms, it's not quite as uh, impressive looking. A reduction of uh, 380 event, events per 1,000 to 327 per 1,000. But hey, you know, if you're trying to reduce the spread of a particular respiratory virus um, until you can implement other measures such as, uh, well, getting allowing people to become infected more progressively rather than everyone getting sick all at once then then yeah the, 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 there is a benefit there and and given that it's just it's hand hygiene it's it's it's, it's not a, it's not a difficult intervention certainly not an expensive intervention um worth, worth doing uh, using more strict definition outcomes for influenza like illness now this this includes covid of course and this includes covid testing because it's an influenza like illness is the way they analyze the data uh there the relative risk is uh, 0 0.94 so that's a relatively small benefit actually so in terms of people diagnosed of covid specifically i guess there was a benefit but it's not demonstrated by these studies is really what we are saying here Based on fairly large numbers, 34,000 people in 11 trials, it's low certainty evidence. And when they subdivided it more, beneficial effect was not statistically significant if influenza-like illness itself, symptomatic illness, and laboratory-confirmed illness were analysed separately. And of course, this is part of the problem with meta-analyses. It does depend how you analyse the data. You can analyse data in different groups and get slightly different results. But... It's probably still some benefit there, although not as great as all the influenza like uh, or all the respiratory infections put together. Was hand washing worth doing in the COVID pandemic? I think the answer is probably yes, but that, as we've said, is low certainty evidence. Was it a huge effect? Certainly not. Was the sum effect? Probably. Because, I mean, we ummed and ahs about, about these for a long time, so it's good to get some semi definitive data. Laboratory confirmed influenza, well, it looks like there's a 9% reduction there. Relative risk is, is 91. Eight trials, but they're saying this is low certainty evidence, suggesting that the intervention made little or no difference. So no evidence really there of efficacy. And the reason that they were so unsure here was that the trials were very he heterogeneous, that they were different and it was hard to pull the data in a valid way. Uh, but when they did pull the data for um, acute respiratory infections uh, influenza like illness that's that's covid really really there mostly in the study that's mostly covid or influenza uh, they found hand hygiene may be beneficially with an 11 percent reduction in uh, respiratory illness so again we are seeing this reduction relative risk 0 0.89 they're not sure they're saying it's low certainty uh, evidence so again, some benefit, but more benefit than wearing masks, according to this Cochrane review, for sure. Wearing masks didn't have any significant uh, reduction in risk. Um, the way that was done was, was mostly completely uh, ineffectual. But um, hand hygiene, yeah, there is something there. In absolute terms, again, absolute benefit, uh, this benefit would result in a reduction from 200 events per 1,000 to 178. So, again, relative risks very often look more efficacious than absolute risks. But the, the benefit was, was still there, even though it wasn't great. But again, low certainty evidence. And um, finally, they looked at surfaces. Six trials here. Surface disinfection <laughs> compared to a controls uh, number of cases of viral respiratory illness, so acute respiratory illness, influenza-like illness, including COVID, confirmed influenza, six trials. And they found a significant reduction in, in acute respiratory infections in the intervention group, 53% benefit. They give that as an odds ratio, but that's very similar to a... Uh, it's, it's very similar 
to a 53% uh, reduction. It's very similar to a relative risk. Um, so cleaning surfaces, indoor surfaces, supermarkets, surfaces at home, surfaces in shops does seem to be worth doing. And again, a low cost, uh, fairly easy to implement intervention. So all these things we wondered about during the uh, pandemic, we're starting to get some definitive answers. Um, this will help us for the uh, the next pandemic. So if the next pandemic is caused, for example, by a, and the most likely thing for a large outbreaks so or another pandemic is it's likely to be an influenza, probably be an influenza. Could be another coronavirus, of course. We didn't expect this coronavirus, but uh, if it's an influenza, then the benefit for using masks as they were used in the COVID pandemic pretty limited um, to useless uh, the benefit of use of hand hygiene is is there to some extent so are we slightly better prepared for the next one uh, yeah, we, we probably are in terms of these non pharmacological interventions um, so pretty good study you actually do look at it for yourself Cochrane reviews are generally generally pretty good um, huge piece of work um, wouldn't be nice to be more definitive, but given that large-scale randomised control trials of this nature are going to be ethically difficult to carry out and uh, financially don't make any sense for anyone to pay for, this is probably about as definitive as we're going to get. So we'll leave it at that. Probable benefit from hand hygiene, probably no benefit from wearing masks. Thank you for watching. <laughs>